Hello, it's Peter here. So here we are with the flex rapid stove. Just have a little cinch, 550 paracord uh, around it just to, to hold it there. Bag opens up. And then we have our flex wrap it and our bottle. Take the bottle out, take the flex wraps out. And in there we had two of the flex wraps that were in there. And then in the bottom we have our cup. And uh, just in here I have my lighter, some cotton wool buds with uh, petroleum jelly in them. I also carry a, a tripod mate um, in there. We'll say more about that later. And then finally the uh, flux clips that are going to form the footer. And in the base there, the adjustable pod hanger. So that'll go out to five inches or if I open it up here and go down to about three and a half inches in terms of the flux wrap size. Uh, if I was just having an open fire and I wasn't going to use uh, anything but perhaps the flux wrap to, as a, a chimney to help me start the fire, um, I'd also got my tripod mate here uh, with my, my chain. Just a little keyhole here that allows me to move the chain up and down and adjust the height. And also in this bag, I have my uh, trapeze, bottle trapeze that is, which simply drops in to your bottle and then you can pick it up swing it around, perfectly safe, move it up and down. So that would then suspend from the hook on my tripod mate. If I had an open fire. If I don't have an open fire, I'm just gonna make it sit on top of my flex rapid stove uh, with this. Okay, so. Clear all this away, and I'm going to show you um, loading up the Fox Rapid stove uh, with the twigs that I have collected over here. Oh, and this, of course, bag uh, has other advantages. Um, you can actually use it as a, a pre-filter for your water. Take your water and just uh, drain it into your into here, so keep all the branches out. Um, it's just a, a muslin cloth bag. Um, you can also very handily uh, use it with your pot stove, with your pot, just to give you a handle so when it's hot. Here's the flex wrap. And I'm just gonna load that up with twigs. I'm gonna make my twigs, in this case, um, not gonna go all the way. I'm going to go, remember it's going to sit with your, with your foot, it's going to come down a little bit. So I'm going about halfway up uh, with this particular load in. I'm only going to do a cup of water, so I really don't need to go too far on that. So that's my rough measurement. My course could start. Um, you get a, a feel for it here. Could do a longer, a longer stick burn. See that the length there on the flux wrap. This is where your feet are going to come. This is going to be down to the bottom of your feet. And then you want to make sure that whatever you do is that you're never going over the sort of top, top lip here. So that would be the case. 
if I was doing a smaller load in where I would just have half there as well. So, uh, perhaps I'll go somewhere in between on those two this time around. I'm just going to put my flex wrap, sometimes easier just to put it in this position. And I'm going to take uh, one of these sticks as a as my measure of what I'm gonna what I'm gonna be aiming for. About that length. About three quarters of the way up. So, so I'm just gonna use that as a measure of my length of my sticks. And it doesn't have to be that close, just roughly about the same. Keep dropping that one. And you notice the sticks are, as I go up the branch, or up the, are getting a little bit thicker. It doesn't really matter, you're gonna have a fairly good mix of sticks in there. You wanna have thin ones and, and wide ones. The thicker the stick, the longer the burn's gonna be. Um, the more rapid the burn on the on the thick, thinner sticks. And once it gets to a point where you can't break them, that's about as thick as you want to actually go. So again, now we're back down to the thin end. And if I had very thin tips, I'd keep that for the kindling. But here I'm going to just do this and break off this little knobby piece here. As I said, it doesn't have to be all that accurate. Give this a check now, just to see how it's all, what sort of diameter we're getting. So, let's push those down, pop that up nice and tight. And here we have it in there. Um, that's the bottom, bottom end, and I'm going to put a clip on. That's going to give me. About a three and a half, four inch diameter. Actually, probably want to add a little bit more in there. Take my clips. And you'll notice one end is out. That's the end that wants to be on the outside. And then I'm just going to clip that and hold it, hold it together. And one clip will hold it. So once you're in that position, I would then go, four is ideal, you can use three, but I sometimes find four is, uh, four is better. And so equally space those out, remembering to keep the, the clip side out. Put that down and then push your wood down. So this is all going to be, so you'll see the wood coming down here now with the legs on that. Um, if you're on non-solid ground, you can easily uh, use that to push those in a little bit further. That'll add you a little bit more stability, but you've got plenty of stability with the legs. And you're going to take your pot support. You want to actually make it roughly about the size that you're going to you need there, measure that up, and then simply uh, take the longer leg, if you can see that there, push that on here, and again you can now just see where the where the pot's gonna go, make just your triangle, take the longer leg again, push it out, and then down. And then the same with the with the other leg. I 
and you can see um, let's say you're just going to drop this down drop it down on here and this can be adjusted up and down without any flames on it around and held in place and if you really wanted to secure it really tight and just add a, another flex clip to the top and that will hold it very firmly in place so now you can see that's pretty well solidly held in place there take that off and what you can do as well is you can bend the ends in like so a little bit put it around and now you can see that I can actually drop this mug down inside with the handles out and I'm still going to have airflow around the hand around the, the unit and uh, that's how you use the flux racket soap just going to add to the video here another way you can set up the two stoves set up and I'm going to demonstrate using the Pathfinder bottle and cup so uh, there's some water in here and the cup is if I take my rapid stove I can put my water on here to boil and I can take the second wrap with the second uh, adjustable pot stand just on the top which I'm just going to use to suspend and then I can lower that over as such and suspend it off my bottle and that's a pretty easy way to do it and I can just take this off and then remove my bottle I can also use it with the cup uh, the slit here this allows me to be able to put the handle up inside I can then pick it up and drop that over and rest it down and I've got protection from the wind and a pot skirt again around a cap now with the handles out so that they're they're not getting heated up in the flames and I can take that off and put that down so just another way of using the system just a point to note I've got the uh, flex wrappage here on a piece of wood um, but there is no grill at the base of this just purely the wood coming through so hot ashes and ambers embers are going to come down the bottom so you want to put this on a fire safe surface when you're doing this uh, wouldn't do it on a tree I'd put it on the ground you could put a piece of aluminum foil underneath it put it on a stone um, or one of the things I do is I dig a little little reception hole in it um, take a turf off if there's any grass dig down a little bit make sure there's no roots um, and take the hole down really you can go down as far as the pot sand height if you want to um, and then you've got what I call a single hole Dakota fire pit uh, which is completely protected and the air pulls down and around and up through the bottom it's a very efficient fire uh, in there but often I don't feel like digging that deep I just dig down enough so that when my ashes are all burnt I just can put some water on it cover the earth back over put the turf back on top and you wouldn't know that we'd been there all right thanks <laughs>